The AG-8000 is a hard-sided mobile containment unit designed to contain dust and debris during sealing access work. It's an important device that helps protect patients and staff from any hazardous particulates that may be released during these operations. The unit is also designed with worker safety in mind, giving the user a safe and secure environment to perform installation or maintenance activities. When your unit is received, it's going to be crated on a double pallet. A forklift is going to be needed to unload and move the AG-8000 before unpacking it. The crate can come apart in panels instead of pulling off the individual slats. Begin by removing the top panel of the unit by removing the screws. Remove the screws at the corners to separate the side panels. Next, remove the cardboard packaging from the unit. This is what the AG-8000 will look like once it's unpacked. After the cardboard is removed, a forklift will be needed to remove the unit from the pallets. You must lift the unit with the forklift from the side opposite of the door, otherwise the unit will not be stable on the forklift. Now you can push the unit to a location that's suitable for setup. When setting up, lock all four of your casters on the unit before continuing. You can do this by pushing down on the caster's lock pedal with your foot. Begin by removing the plastic film from the sides. The unit is shipped with the ladder inside. You'll also find a hand crank, 5 8 drill socket, and permit holder inside the unit as well. You're going to need to remove the ladder from the unit so that you can install the other accessories. And in order to remove the ladder, you're going to need to raise the top of the unit using the hand crank or a power drill. You'll need to raise the top enough for the ladder to clear any obstructions. The AG-8000 was designed specifically for use with Abatement Technologies PAS 600 Air Scrubber. To install that unit inside the AG-8000, unpack the unit from the box, then place the scrubber inside the AG-8000 by sliding the exhaust collar into the AG-8000's exhaust box. Plug the unit into the receptacle labeled for 120 volt variable speed device only. Though the unit does not have power, go ahead and turn the PAS 600 unit on high. If you'd like to have the PAS 600 on the outside of the unit, you'll need to install the AG caddy cart for the scrubber to sit on. To assemble the cart, attach the casters to the cart using the screws provided with the unit. Insert the caddy rail into the channel on the underside of the cart while lifting the spring latch located on the side of the channel. Make sure to unlock the casters so it's easier for you to install this on the AG 8000. Fasten the caddy latch bracket onto the AG-8000 as shown. Tighten it enough to hold it in place, but keep it loose enough so that you can slide it around. Now, insert the caddy rail into the channel underneath the AG-8000. Finally, tighten the caddy latch bracket down on the AG-8000. Fasten the duct adapter to the AG-8000. Slide the duct adapter into the tabs on the PAS-600 intake door. Place the scrubber on the caddy. Attach the flex duct to the AG-8000 and PAS-600 and secure each with the duct clamps. Plug the scrubber into the 120 volt variable speed device receptacle and turn the unit on high. Now when you're installing the pressure monitor, you'll want to remove the pressure monitor from the box There's a set screw on each side of the faceplate. Loosen these screws to remove the faceplate from the pressure monitor. Unpack the power supply and plug the cord into the power port on the unit, making sure the wires feed through the back. Take one of the reducing elbows from the plastic bag and attach a short length of one quarter inch tubing to it, approximately 16 inches will work. Connect the elbow to the bottom port on the pressure monitor, again, making sure that the tubing feeds through the back of the unit. Loosen the two screws on the pressure monitor mounting plate. Place the pressure monitor on the mounting screws and then tighten the screws to secure the monitor in place. Replace the monitor's face plate and tighten the two side screws.
plug the tubing into the port located in the back window, and then plug the pressure monitor into the receptacle on the inside of the unit. Provide power to the AG8000 unit by plugging an extension cord into the power supply outlet on the back of the unit and the other end into a 15 amp receptacle. And you can now turn on and control the speed of the scrubber using the variable speed knob located on the back wall of the AG8000 unit. So, now that all the accessories are set up, let's put the ladder back into the unit. Set the ladder feet into the recessed pockets and lean the ladder against the back of the unit. Here's a quick demonstration of using the ladder outside of the unit. Unhook the strap located on the left side of your ladder. Then extend the ladder by raising the section closest to you first. After you've raised the first section ladder, you can extend the ladder further if needed by lifting up the second section of the ladder and having the rung locks hook onto the rung on the third section. Make sure the rung locks hook onto the rung after you've extended it to the desired height. To lower the ladder, go in reverse order. Lower the second section before lowering the first section. To disengage the rung locks, either lift the section of the ladder high enough for the rung locks to disengage or use the handles on the rung lock to pull the locks forward. To raise the header to the ceiling, use either the hand crank or a drill on the mechanism in the back of the unit. When raising the unit to the ceiling, you'll need to make sure that the arrow on the header lines up with the ceiling grid. Raise the unit until the header touches the ceiling, being sure not to overextend the header and damaging the unit or the ceiling. After the header is raised, the ladder can be raised and rested against the ladder bracket. The ladder can then be secured with the straps attached to the ladder bracket. To access the ceiling, unzip the two sides of the fabric top and pull the top away from the reclosable fastener. You can stow the top in the cove as shown while you perform your work at or above the ceiling. Also, note that a window on the fabric enclosure is also a pass-through that can be used to hand conduit, pipes, or cable from the outside. And finally, before putting the unit into service, make sure that the unit is cleaned. That's a look at the AG8000 Mobile Air Containment Unit from Abatement Technologies.